uh, we're just going to uh, tell you how glad we are to be here and that we are looking forward to seeing what the Lord is going to do tonight. Uh, we are encouraged. Uh, Robin, my wife, is here. I'm Joe Klein, and we're going to uh, give you some information on, on where we are so far. But uh, first of all, I just want to just say what a blessing to us uh, the Our Harvest WLJC has been. And we look forward to uh, being able to support them because uh, the, the word is going out. It's, it's reaching far. Not, it's not just going into the counties. It's going across the state. It's going across many states and even around the world. And we want to continue that because there's just uh, so many people that has a need that wants, to to, wants a place to tune into and uh, hear the gospel, hear the good news. That's what the gospel is. It's, it's the good Absolutely. news of Jesus Christ. And uh, we want to help continue that. And we want to encourage you to do that also. Uh, Robin, you want to talk for just a few minutes? Well, yeah, I just want to say again, it is good to be here tonight. And I was talking to Margaret earlier and talking to some of, talking to some of my friends that this is their church. They know mm -hmm. everything that goes on. They know who <laughs> sings and what people wear. They know it all. And, you know, when you're so used to being in church your whole life and you're going three times a week and there's all kinds of fun things happening, events, and that all of a sudden age kind of kicks in and things, sometimes things just happen and you're not where you used to be, and you long for that relationship with other people. And WLJC is that place. The hour of harvest, and we come in, and we listen to what Margaret has to say, and she reads the Word of God, and the singers come on, and they sing our favorite songs that night, just out of the blue. That's the one I wanted to hear, and yes. we are so thankful to be here tonight, and we are just encouraging everyone to, to hop in and do something. Our motto at our church, if everybody does a little, nobody has to do a lot. Amen. So today we're starting out with $25,835. Our goal is $40,000 tonight. So if you can do anything to help out, add your little, and let's make a lot tonight. If you're thinking about uh, mailing it in, this is what you need to do. Just put on your envelope, Hour of Harvest, P.O. Box Y, as in X Y Z Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311 and we'll give that address a couple more times tonight in case you didn't quite get that so we encourage you all to get excited to listen to pray and to be with us all here tonight amen that's an encouragement there and just just yeah. hear, hearing the total Absolutely. and uh, we, we're, we're looking to meet that goal I think right. last night they set the goal at 15,000. If, if we get to 40,000 tonight, right. that'll be the, right at the Absolutely. 15,000. Yeah. But right. we, don't, we, don't, we don't want to limit it to that. No, no. We're, we're, <laughs> above we're, we're, and beyond. We're going to say above and beyond because, yes. because we serve a Lord that is above and beyond. Uh -huh. Exceedingly he, abundantly. And abundantly. Amen. And uh, it, it, what you're really doing, if, if you really think about this, giving is an act of worship. Right. And, and when we love the Lord, we want to do all we can to worship Him. And when we give, also what we're doing, we're laying up treasures. Absolutely. Because when this gospel goes around the world, just like I said, and they, they hear the gospel and some soul gets saved or mm -hmm. people get delivered, people get encouraged, you know what? There's an account being made Absolutely. for each and every one of us yes. for what we do our part. Right. The, the little things, don't, don't, don't think the little things don't mean anything because the right. little things do mean something. So mm -hmm. we want to encourage you to do that. Uh, pray about it. Say, Lord, what, what would you have me to, to bless yes. Hour of Harvest Amen. with and, and this TV station that is bringing so much joy and so much needed oh, word, word to uh, this area and throughout the world. It's, it's just been a blessing. It's been a, it's just so many people, just as you said, Robin. Uh, I've been out before, and whether I've been in a store, post office, People would ask me, say, hey, when are you going to be back on WLJC? And uh, come to find out, I, you know, they just let you know that that's, that's who they watch. Yeah. They tune in uh, almost every day, and they say, as much as I can, I like to watch it because it, it is an encouragement. And, <laughs> it's, you know, WLJC, our harvest is, is no different than anybody else, no different than you and me. Uh, we all have bills that come due. And uh, we have to pay those bills. We have to make sure that the needs are being met. We depend on the Lord, but we also want the Lord to stir His people and to help. And see, when you give, when you, give you get blessed. Right. 
True. It's just part. Of, it's part of the law of of, of sowing. Yeah. And how do how do we get blessed? We uh, we give. We sow into a uh, we sow into a gospel station. We sow into a church, a ministry that is producing, and WLJC does produce because right. there's so many people that tunes in and watches. Absolutely. So we'll be here with you. This is a two-hour broadcast. So. Yes. Uh, keep tuned in if you, if you have to uh, and, uh, to leave for a few minutes or something. Be sure to tune back in and, and be with us. We're going to have some really good gospel music here for, in just a minute. Robin, you want to introduce them? Say anything else yes. before you do? Yes. I was, just, I was just thinking the other day I was at a yard sale and someone said, Oh, when are you going back on WLJC again? It's amazing. We're at a yard sale and they're thinking about WLJC. But I would like to announce this, mor uh, this morning, tonight's uh, singers, it is Kay Himes and Friends. Their address is 116 Parker Lane, Berea, Kentucky. Zip code is 40403. And the phone number, if you'd like to get in touch with them, area code 859-248-0259. And you can always contact Kay Himes. They, a church is the Red Lick Baptist Church in Berea, Kentucky. We're excited to hear them tonight. Certainly good to be back here on WLJC Hour of Harvest. Uh, uh, it is a telethon, so we would like to start off by encouraging our friends and family that love this station to support it in the best way that you can. We hope that the songs that we've chosen tonight will be an encouragement and an uplifting to you.
just over the river. Friend, I hope and pray that if you're listening tonight and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that would be the best advice that we could give is to truly think about receiving Jesus Christ into your heart and soul. That is the very reason we're here. Yes, we're here to help with the telethon, but more important, we're here to see souls come into the kingdom of God. Amen. All right, not afraid. Desi, you had asked for this one the last time, so I hope that you'll enjoy it tonight, sister. When you're in the arms of Jesus, there's no reason to fear because anything that comes your way, he's going, he already knows about it, and I'm sure that he's going to take care of it in his own way for his children. And I'm glad to say that I'm a child of God tonight. Amen. Nothing that i done other than I put my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He did it all, Amen. but it was left up to me to practice that faith that he gave me to believe in him as my Lord and Savior. All right, the next one we'll do is I can't make it, Lord, without you.
about you. You know, as I, as I was singing that song, I was thinking about a lot of you have young children. I have two sons and a granddaughter and now a great-granddaughter. And, you know, as they're learning to walk, you want to hold their hand to keep them from falling and getting hurt. And I was just thinking that's probably the way we are as God's children. He probably holds our hand a lot of times to keep us from falling down and getting hurt. And, uh, and then sometimes he may just say, all right, I'm going to leave, leave you here to teach you a lesson. Fall down and then ask me to help you get back up. So uh, I'm glad that I belong to the Lord. Amen. All right, Brother Leonard. <clears throat> uh, before I sing this song, I'd like to, uh, first of all, thank God for being here tonight. Thank him for the traveling mercies which coming up the road is wrecked down here. And God just brought us right around, and we just hope and pray that whoever that was was not hurt. And uh, But just I thank God for his many, many blessings. And I got a special prayer request. I got a real good friend that's going to have surgery. I think it's Tuesday, and he's got cancer. And uh, I'd just like for everybody to remember him when you pray. At, uh, at the surgeons, so uh, do a good job, the nurses, and he come through that. Uh, he's been a real good friend of mine, so I'd just like for everybody to pray for him and pray for me as I sing this song. This is the first song that ever I sang in church when I was just a lot younger than I am now, but <laughs> I, was, I was a whole lot nervouser then than I am now, but I'm still nervous. I always said when I get, or I'm not nervous when I get up and sing for the Lord, I'm going to quit because I'm singing for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords.
across that river. Amen. All right, look how big my God is, and I hope and pray that this song just blesses you. If you're sitting on the couch, I just hope you do a holy roller dance out there. If you're sitting in your recliner, just rear back and shout and yeah. praise the Lord. Amen. Look how big my God is. My will was quickly fading as I struggled unto my knees. Oh, Lord, behold my mountain. To me it is too steep. My strength almost gone Lord come now to my rescue I need your strength to carry on through my tears I heard him whisper he said child you've asked of me to come behold Together we'll conquer this. So run now to your mountain and say, Look how big my God is. Look how big my God is. He's greater. the Lord. That's wonderful singing. Mm -hmm. Good anointed singing. We're going to give them just a few minutes of a break and they'll be back to sing some more. And mm -hmm. I want to encourage you to, as uh, Sister said there, if uh, these songs or words, anything that's been said and your heart is stirred, that uh, the uh, Spirit of the Lord is speaking to you, 
we got operators that's waiting to, to yes, uh, right. have you call in. Yes. The number's there on the screen, 606-464-4250, or you can call 859-469-7482. So if you feel the need, you call. But uh, we're praying that you feel the need to uh, sow a seed, uh, to sow into this ministry, to uh, call and, and make your pledge and give as the Lord would put it up on your heart. Uh, Rob and I remember there's times that uh, we would go to pray for somebody at their house and uh, they may have been older, member of a, tr member of a church or even our church, and uh, they'd say, you know what I miss most now that I can't get out is, right. is the yeah. fellowship, is mm -hmm. the longing Amen. to go back to, to be with my brothers and my sisters. And uh, one thing that the Hour of Harvest does is it takes the gospel to them, the ones True. that can't get out, yes. the ones that have a desire to be with, with, with their brothers and sisters because it, it's, it's a kindred spirit. And you have that longing, but sometimes, you know, your physical body, you, you, you don't have the strength to go. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, something that, uh, that this, this uh, TV station is what people turn in and say, this is my church. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, where you get fed or where you drink, the well you drink from is for you, who you That's should support, yeah. you know. And uh, so uh, we're, we're just uh, believing that the Lord will, will stir hearts tonight and we'll meet, uh, not just meet that goal of 15,000, but we'll more than exceed that. Right. So, uh, Robin, you, I think you've got a few pledges that you want to go ahead and read. Yes, I do. i got a few pledges here from Jink Rixie from Menifee. Menifee County pledges $100 in uh, honor of Gail and Wayne's son and Jenny Dalton. Now Shirley Black of Moorhead, she pledges $100 in honor of her husband, Ivis Black. And I was just sitting there thinking as you were uh, talking about that, the, how WLJC is people's church. Heck, a lot of us work 40 hours a week and still come home at night and watch WLJC. So it's just not for those who are home. It's those who get out and work every day and try to be a light in their community. It encourages us and gives us strength when we come home from work. And you can always turn it on and see a friendly smile of Margaret giving us a word of encouragement. So it's, it's for everybody. So if everybody will just help out a little bit, I am sure God will go above and beyond what we can ever ask or think to make this the best year ever. Nobody knows what goes on behind closed doors. We don't know what could break or what needs to be painted or what needs to be taken care of. So I do believe this is good soil. This is good people that we can trust and we can, you know, we can donate and give and love them through any and every situation that they're in. So tonight there's no better time. And I'm telling you that Kay, you and your friends have sang wonderful songs. It makes you homesick. You know, at the end of the day, you know, one day we'll all be with Jesus. And wherever he is, that's exactly where I want to be. People can, you know, just talk this and that. But I tell you, we'll never know how great opportunity we had until we may lose it. You know, until you don't have that anymore. So tonight is a great opportunity. It's a wonderful time to be a part of something that's great. As we all join in and help tonight, we pray that you also will help. Amen. That's good. Thank uh, you. I know Jesus. that you were saying as far as everybody doing their part. And, yeah. And uh, the, I believe it's the book of Psalms talks about and the books were open. Right. There was, there was an S on that. And I believe everything we do to further the kingdom of God is recorded. Absolutely. And it goes to our account. The Bible tells us to lay up our treasures in heaven, not upon this earth, but lay our treasures up in heaven. Right. And you know what? They'll be there when we get there. Absolutely. See? And how do we do that is because we support uh, TV stations like yes. uh, uh, WLJC and Our Harvest. And we get to promote Jesus Christ in, in, in His kingdom. So uh, whatever you do, don't, don't think so that I, because I can't give a whole lot, it doesn't amount to anything or it doesn't mean anything. Uh, everybody does a little. Right. Come on. Everybody gives gives a little Praise bit. Praise the Lord. I know yes. what it's been a few years ago that uh, instead of just waiting for the fall telethon, mm -hmm. uh, we started monthly giving. Absolutely. And that's something that uh, you know if you, you if that's on your heart or you pray about and ask the Lord yeah. say, uh, how do I need to give? Do I do you want me to give it like during the telethon that's going on, yeah. or or maybe I give it. Uh, every, each and every month, just right. just like uh, we were, we are doing, and I tell you, folks, you, you just get a blessing every time that uh, we think about what we're doing for the kingdom. Because 
were not only on this earth for so, uh, so much time. Think about the, uh, the tombstones that's out right. there. Mm -hmm. You've got a date of birth Absolutely. and you've got a date of death. And what really matters is what happens where the dash is, mm -hmm. what happens in between. Yes. And that's our time, that's our season upon this yes. earth. And what's really going to matter, folks, is what we do for the Lord. Absolutely. And this is part of it. Robin, yeah. you got a new total there, don't you, I believe? Yes. Now we're up to $27,910. So Praise listen, we're so close to 28000 We can do that in a matter of minutes. So somebody call in and make this day, this evening, just wonderful. Amen? We can do this together. Well, it's, well we're in it together. That's right, it's, it's, yeah. it's all about us working together to promote the gospel. Absolutely. And, and this is part of what we're doing. It's what this, this singing group's doing tonight. Uh, they're here to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right. They, 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 nothing would be uh, any more greater tonight if someone said, you know what, I think I'll call in and accept Absolutely. the Lord tonight as my Savior. Yeah. It's the simplicity of the gospel is this. Believe in your heart, confess That's with your mouth, mouth, Lord Jesus, that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yeah. That's what the word of God says, That's Romans 10, 9, gift. 10. It is. It, it, the, the, we've been, we're so blessed that Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, made a way mm -hmm. that mankind can get back into a relationship with our Heavenly Father, our Creator. And we can do that through not only us by accepting Jesus Christ, but we can get the gospel out there so others can accept what Jesus did. Not only for me, not only for the ones that's here, but for the whole world. That's just amazing to me that our Father would love us that much. Absolutely. That, that he, he would send his son to die in, in our place because, see, that cross was ours. Mm -hmm. We're the one that deserved it, yes. not Jesus. He didn't do anything to deserve it. But he said, you know what? There has to be an atonement, and I'll, do, I'll make right. that sacrifice. Yeah. I'll lay down my life. They didn't take his life from him. Mm -hmm. He willingly laid it down True. so we could be restored back to our Father in a relationship. Don't, don't let the world tell you that Christianity is a religion. They classify it in these categories as a religion. Mm -hmm. Folks, being Christ-like or Christianity is a relationship. Right. And it's a relationship exactly. with our Father through His Son, Jesus Absolutely. Christ. Amen. 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 You could preach about that. <laughs> Amen. Re read our, uh, introduce, yeah. re reintroduce our singers tonight Absolutely. and we'll get, we'll get back to them. Yes. Again, we've been listening to Kay Himes and her friends tonight. And they're from the Red Lick Baptist Church in Berea, Kentucky. Let me give you this phone number in case you're like, hey, I really like them to come to my church maybe. So if you do, then you can call 859-248-0259. And I'm sure they'll answer and be glad to listen.
Brother Leonard's going to do this next song, and I want to send it out to uh, Mary uh, Wagers in Middlesbrough. She just had surgery this week, and Mary, I hope that uh, the pain is uh, bearable at this moment. Uh, but we sure do thank a lot of you guys. Hope you enjoy this program and this next song. Just any day now. This time I stop and take the time to look around me. I see the sign disappearing everywhere. Things he said would come to pass are now before us. And I can feel the strange excitement in the air. Just in know that hour but it's a guaranteed in the word of God that it's going to happen Amen. so we can rest assured that we don't have to know but we can rest assured that Jesus said in his word that he was coming back and I believe that so uh, this next one it's been worth every mile you know we have traveled many many miles in our singing ministry throughout the years and we have really enjoyed it. I mean, we have been to some churches that just opened up their arms and welcomed us in and, and uh, met new brothers and sisters on this earth that uh, we may not have met had it not been for our singing ministry. Amen. And we've been here throughout the years, many, many years. And uh, it's, But it's been worth every mile that we have went. Mm -hmm. And one of these days, we're going to travel our last mile. Yep. It's going to be our last mile. I told them at church the other night, I said, one of these days, somebody is going to have their last service in this church. It could be me. It could be somebody else. But sometime, we're going to go to our last service. We're going to have our last meal. We're going to have our last glass of water. But Jesus is coming. But, friend, it's been worth every mile of the way. Amen. <laughs>
Amen. All right. Uh, I want to send this song out. If uh, Diane and Farley Turner are listening tonight, I'd like to send this song out to them. Mm -hmm. This is one of Diane's favorite songs, and I was so happy to hear that uh, Farley had given his life to the Lord and uh, uh, was saved. That is uh, awesome news to hear of anyone. So uh, if they're listening, I'm going to do this just for you, but I hope all of you enjoy it. Going home. <clears throat> you all tonight and I hope that you're enjoying the program as much as I am and uh, we're so thankful that our singing group could come and be a part of this telethon tonight. Amen. This will be our last song and if we never meet again here on this earth, friend let's prepare to meet in heaven. Amen. Amen. On those streets of gold. Praise God. It's a far better place over there. Amen.
done yourselves. <laughs> Everyone is donating tonight. <laughs> and these things are just, look at all this. Isn't this amazing? Listen, Geraldine McClurg, she give $50. George and Mary Watkins, $100. Good News Gospel, $2,000. Let me see. Let me Judy Sexton, $70. Melinda Fish, $100. Melanie and Alexander, $20. Unspoken, $300. Troy Carr, $50. Terry Adkins, $50. Tammy Justin, $50. Shirley Watkins, $125. Shirley Black, $100. Sherry West and Evely Taylor, $30. Sarah, Sarah Powell, $200. Sandra Harrison, $100. Samuel Reed, $150. Ruth Love Lovelace, $100. Ruth Hyman, $20. Rufus and Mary Shootman, $200. Ruby Sturgill, $100. Look, and they just keep coming. Joe, we have uh, Ruth Downs, it's $50. I keep licking my finger because these <laughs> papers are hard. Roger and Verna Van Hoos, $25. Roberta Helton, $200. Robert Carcinar, Brother Bob, $200. Richard and Joyce Hampton, $1,000 tonight. Philip Smith, $50. Peggy and Jesse Field, $50. Pauline Bullocks, $50. Patsy Skaggs, $50. Amazing, Joe, and yes. it just keeps going. Here, it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alice Menar from Harlan, $100 in honor of uh, Margaret and the Singers. Yes. Uh, Crystal Knocked, $50. Winnie Molden, Pulaski, $50 in memory of husband Rodney Molden. Good. Judy Sexton, Fleming, yep. $70 I know her. in honor of Robin and Joe. Woohoo! That's well, my mom. <laughs> that's my mother in law. Uh, no name from Mercer, uh, $200 yeah. mm -hmm. in memory of Don Levins. Aww. Ruth Heimer, Berea, $20 in honor of Kay Himes doing a great, a Aww, good yeah. job. That's good. Melinda Fitch, round $100. Yes. Carolyn Black, yeah. round $100 in memory of Verlin Husband. Yes. We know her, don't we? That's a good woman. Yes. William Darlin. I believe that's darling. Forgive me if I say it wrong. Yeah. And Garrett Eddington, $100. Bobby Collins, Montgomery, $100. Jane Tompkins, Pulaski, $500. In memory of husband, Steve Hempkins. 
and prayer for uh, pray for our nation and the lost. That's amen. Right, amen. That's, true. that's so true, sis. Robert and Verna Van Hoos, Johnson County, twenty-five dollars a month for e for oh, one year. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Yeah. What a blessing. Jerry McClure Ground, one hundred dollars a member of her late husband, Reverend Winston McClure. Absolutely. Senior pastor to a house of prayer. Mm -hmm. A. T. Bland Plasky, fifty dollars in memory of his wife Shirley. Wanda Pierce, Plasky, fifty dollars in memory of her husband Gordon Pierce. Brenda from Wayne County, four hundred dollars. Continue to send fifty dollars a month as well. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Watching every night, so thankful for WLJC and the people can hear about Jesus. Amen. That's true. Terry Adkins, Madison County, fifty dollars, and her children uh, reunite. They stay in touch with her. Amen. Believe, pray that. Marsha Back, Sharpsburg, fifty dollars in memory. Of Austin Back, who has passed on, also needs prayer. And Darlene Comer, Rock Castle, fifty dollars in memory of Bill Comer, and Jack Savage, Lawrence, looks like Lawrence County or Lawrenceburg. $200 in memory of daughter Teresa Savage. Mary Ann from Bath County, $200. Withheld on the name Montgomery, $50. Charles Ross Morgan, $50 in honor of Margaret Dottie Combs, also singers. Praise the Lord. That was a that was a good large group. Oh, that's yes. Yeah, and still so much to Thank come. We, so many people uh, have yes. sent in. Uh, a lot of people that withheld, they just, they just give their 50s, they give their 100s, they're just withheld, they're just saying, I want to give, but don't you have to mention my name. That's okay with that too. We're excited. I mean, this, this is so great, you're so wonderful. We are going to do such good work for the Lord. He is so excited and proud of his children. There's always a remnant. There's always the one that, that will just pray through, that will intercede, that will go above and beyond just because of the need that is here right now and today. So we'll keep on throughout the, the evening and we'll be telling everybody's name as fast as we can and saying the great things that they're doing to help this TV station go above and beyond, to, to reach out more people and, and to do the best that they can do with what the Lord has given them. Amen. This is awesome. Amen. And we started the evening with 25, Eight. 25,800 somewhere. Yeah. We got a new total of 28,850. Praise the Lord. That is awesome. 28,850. Amen. See, every little bit helps. That's right. Don't think that, that what you're given isn't significant because it, it tr truly is. Absolutely. We're just so it thankful. Yes. And uh, the, we've, we've gone through the first half of this broadcast. We've got uh, uh, another hour to go. Yes. And uh, when we, when, uh, there's a promotional yes. video mm -hmm. in two minutes. That's exactly okay. Right. All right. So continue to, continue to call in. We've got the operators there that's uh, waiting and uh, just. If you again, if you got a prayer request, if you got a need in your life, the people are, are ready to pray for yes. you. Uh, they'll uh, they'll encourage you, they'll uplift you. Uh, anything that that right. we can do and this station can do to help you or help anyone, Lord, you may have a family member that needs prayer. Yeah, let them know that, and they, they'll pray and let us know so we can also be praying. Robin, you got anything else? Well, just a few more while we got a few more seconds to go. Jerry and Connie Bird has given $100. We also have a Janice Corum has given $50. A Jane Topkins has given $500 today. Jack Savage has given $200. We have in memory of the daughter, Teresa Savage, uh, that given money also. And then Henry Fraley has given $300. Ellen Lewis has given $50, along with Gertrude Family has given $300, H.E. Blank has given $50, and I'm telling you, the list goes on and on and on. We're so thankful tonight. It is such a big deal that we've all joined together and done a great job. It's, it's wonderful, Joe. It truly is. It is so good that what we're going to do. It, it is, and uh, we're just blessed to be a part of this. You yes. Know, I, think, I think about what's going on and, and what's been, you know, we found out for 42 years yeah, the WLJC's that WLJC's awesome? been here Absolutely. and been reaching this community. What, what, a, what a blessing that is. Yes, a lot of souls saved, yes. a lot of people encouraged. Yes. Praise the Lord. We're going to go to our intro promotional video at this time. 
The WLJC ministry had very humble beginnings in the small town of Beattyville, Kentucky, nestled deep within the beautiful Appalachian mountain range. With very little money, but an incredible vision from God to spread the gospel, missionaries, including current president Margaret Drake, began broadcasting on WLJC radio in 1965. The call letters WLJC stand for Wonderful Lord Jesus Christ. WLJC was the first Christian FM station in the state of Kentucky. By 1982, God had blessed WLJC and the Hour of Harvest by granting them a new and exciting opportunity in what was nothing short of a miracle by expanding the ministry to establish WLJC Television. WLJC Television celebrates its humble beginning 42 years ago this month. The nightly flagship program simply entitled The Hour of Harvest is an interactive program that encourages audience members to phone in their prayer request during the live broadcast. WLJC TV and its family of programs are funded by contributions from viewers like you. All gifts are income tax deductible. The Hour of Harvest continued to prosper. In 1986, WLJC commissioned a new 500-foot tower and a new broadcast studio. This facility remains the primary studio and office complex for all the broadcast operations of the Hour of Harvest today. With the continued success of the ministry and with the help of several special telethons along the way, the expansion continued with a power increase, new transmitter, and a 1,000-foot tower. The expansion continued through the digital transition period from 2003 to 2007. God has truly blessed WLJC over the years. By 2014, the Hour of Harvest was reaching hundreds of thousands of households and was added to multiple cable and satellite systems throughout central and eastern Kentucky. You can now find the Hour of Harvest program on their very own Roku channel. The Hour of Harvest also broadcast the Gospel of Jesus Christ worldwide via the internet and through our social media platforms. The Hour of Harvest is always looking toward the future for continued growth. It is prayer and financial partners like you that make all this possible. Thank you for your prayers and continued support of the Hour of Harvest. May God richly bless you. When I left my father's house, I was supplied. I made a mistake and I did wrong. Now I'm dissatisfied. I think I'll go back home. I think I'll go back home. I believe I'll go back home and acknowledge I've done wrong. What have I gained by sinning but hunger, grief, and fear? My father's house abounds in wealth and I'm a starving here. I'll go back to my father's house and I'll fall down on my face Saying I'm not worthy to be called your child I'll just take a servant's place I think I'll go back home I think I'll go back home I believe I'll go back home and acknowledge I've done wrong. My father saw me coming. He met me with a smile. He threw his arms around me, 
saying, here's my wandering child. My father told his servant, go and kill the fatted calf, and let us all be merry, for my son's come home at last. I think I'll go back home. I think I'll go back home. I believe I'll go back Oh, and acknowledge I've done wrong. Once again at uh, WLJC, thank you for the opportunity to be here for the fall telethon. And you all set a pretty high bar with your donations in the first half, so you better keep it coming or we're going to look bad. But uh, no, um, th this is actually our fifth year here. We were looking at some of our notes here, and we're almost to the day of five years of being here. And lots happened in five years, but we're thankful to uh, still be able to do what we can for the Lord, and there's no more worthwhile. Um, mission than what this is, bringing the good news of the gospel straight into people's homes. So uh, we're going to let our buddy Brent play this next one, How Great Thou Art, a good old uh, gospel hymn that we know that you know the words to at home, so sing along with us while he plays.
Sheila. It's a good song. Like song. There waits for me the glad tomorrow for the gates of pearl swing open wide and I will cross this veil of sorrow and I'll Natalie, dear, what near about dear people, and Josh and Molly Hi, and George. Si. Yeah. I'll be ready. You and Brett have it. I'll jump in there after a while. She said she'd meet me when 
I come I'm only going Over Jordan I'm just going Over home Dark clouds, they'll gather around me. I know my path, oh, it's rough and steep. Yet beauty is fear, lay out before me for the redeem their vision. I'm just going over home. My trials will be over. This form will rest beneath the sun across the sea of self denial and enter in my home. Jordan I'm just going over home Amen. That's good. Praise the Lord. That was amazing, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? I am just you know, in awe sometimes as you see the anointing that God gives to people, the talent and the gifting to, to play a musical instrument and to sing. That group is called Four for Him. It located at 739 South Kentucky, 706 in Sandy Hook, Kentucky, 41143. And the guy playing the mandolin earlier is Josh Slose. And if you want to call him, contact him at 606-495-5260. And they're affiliated with the Laurel Gorge Enterprise Baptist Church right there in Sandy Hook. So let's continue where we were at. Now, Josh, I want you to know, because I have a smaller paper, don't mean I got less names on here, okay? <laughs> People are still giving, so make Josh feel good today in honor of Josh. So here we have Janice Lewis from Morgan County. She pledges $100 in the uh, memory of her late husband, Billy Ray Lewis. Donald and Effie Cunningham from Scott County pledges $100 in memory of Ronnie and Larry's son-in-law, Gary, going for biopsy tomorrow. Let's remember that. 
Lonnie Witt from Alliance, Ohio. He played just $100 in memory of his loved ones gone on in honor of four for him tonight. Did there one for Josh? Jess Hubbard from Clay pledges $25. Maria Goodbye from Pulaski pledges $100 in memory of her sister. Another friend pledges $25 tonight. Mason and Sherry Henson from Breathitt pledges $25 in honor of Gary Mullins and family. Now Mary Reed from Round County, my good friend, pledges $100 and she says she's my neighbor and she is in <laughs> honor of Robin and Joe Klein. We're so excited to, to meet new people when we come here, but also to see old friends we've always had. And when you start reading all these um, pledges of people that you know, it excites you. It says we're all on the same page, the same reason, the same God, for souls to be saved here and everywhere. Amen. Do you have more, Joe? Amen. I've got one here, uh, James and Dorothy Moan from yep. Whitley. Pledge is $200. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's awesome. That's amazing. Amen. And I've got a new total update. Okay. $30,025. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. $30,000. That's great. That's our total for, for at this point. That's so right. Yes. That's, for the whole week. And pr praise the Lord. You know, we're, we're just thankful for that uh, the Lord is stirring hearts. And like I said if, earlier, the, the first hour, if you feel the... Uh, the unction from the spirit to right. give monthly you can still give Absolutely. during the during the fall telethon but if you feel like you should give say a monthly then that would certainly i know help with their yes. budget they can Spread actually plan on getting so so much a month they know that it's coming in instead of getting so much at one time so I continue to pray about that and ask the lord if he'd ask you to do that so um i think i memorized the address i'm not for sure so let's go to it's hour of harvest P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Somebody say yes or amen. Okay, <laughs> we're going with it then. Okay. <laughs> but uh, they're doing a great job here tonight. Your music is wonderful. I love those songs, Away Wayfaring Stranger. That was amazing tonight. And um, that's the best part about tuning in every night is to hear a new song is to hear a song that means something to you. Maybe your dad or your mom used to sing it. Maybe you sing it at your church right now. Maybe you found a new twang to it, a new, a new way to sing it. That's what it's all about. We right. all are, there's no big fish in a little pond. You know, we, we never want to think that we're that. We want to be little fish in a big pond so we can learn from one another. We can uh, hear new songs. Like Again, I'm repeating myself, but meeting new friends. So whatever you're doing tonight, I pray that you're enjoying this service here, this uh, time that we have here on WLJC. And um, just keep giving, just keep loving, and just keep praying, Joe. Amen. You know, I like the, the songs that they're singing. Sometimes I've heard some of them played in a faster tune yeah and then some of them you know the the tune that you're playing it in yeah. and uh it's it's the it's the words that's you right. know the, yeah. and, you, and no matter how more you speed it up or you slow it down it's the words that's being said is what, what means the most when you're talking about a go, uh, the the old saying the yeah. good old gospel song yeah you know that stirs hearts that's that's got those anointed words and and that that means a lot you know um when when we think about giving, you know, we, we think about sometimes that uh, it's all about, well, maybe I can't give the amount I want to give. Right. We understand. And, and you have to, you as, as well as we have to live within our means. But, but I, I can't stress enough. Don't think that because you've got a dollar, you've got five dollars or what, whatever the amount, that it don't mean something because it really does here. And... Uh, WLJC right. is is so appreciative of any any amount to help get this gospel right. out across the like I said the communities and, and throughout the world. Do you know that we we could have been born at any other time in history, but you know we wouldn't. Yeah. This is our time. This is our time upon the earth for us to make a difference right. in the kingdom our and season. for the kingdom of God. It's our right. season yeah. to work. And when when we've got a season to work in that we know time's short, no yeah. matter no matter what our age is. You know, if we live to be uh, 100 years old, you know, in this life, we think 100 years is a long time to be upon this earth. But the book of James says, you know what, life is just like a vapor. It's here right. and, then, and then it's gone. Yeah. So what matters is, is what we do in our season mm -hmm. and make the most of what we do. And, right. and, and it's, it's all for the Lord. It's all, all about, about to get bringing others in. 
Robin, I think about that song uh, in in the name uh, that uh, the guy that sang it has left me, but it was like, thank you for giving unto the Lord. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. In, in uh, the song. And it, it, in the, the Bible, it doesn't specifically directly say it, but, you know, the Bible says this. It says, we will know as we are known. And just think if you sung a song or you uh, gave tonight that the gospel continues to go out and somebody gets saved and uh, one day you know we'll be with the lord and somebody would walk up to you and put their arms around you and say thank you yes for giving thank you for helping support the tv station mm -hmm. that that helped me to oh, be able to uh, know jesus christ as my savior yeah. i picked up that phone and i called that number i saw the number on the screen up there there's two numbers and I called in, and there was operators waiting on me to call. And when I called, they prayed, and they led me to in, in the right. prayer exactly. of salvation. You know where. And they asked me if, if I had accepted Jesus, and, the, and you would be able to say, yes, I accepted him as my Savior. You know, one day you could go up, and, and I believe we're going to know a lot of things that we don't know right now. I truly believe that. Like I said, uh, we may know, not know everything here, but I think one day, I think it will be made known to us. And like I said, the Bible just uh, indicates that, again, we will know as we are known. You know, when uh, uh, Peter, James, and John was at the Mount Transfiguration, right. they was there with Jesus and they saw Moses and Elijah. Exactly. But you know what? Uh, there was hundreds of years had passed in between yeah. Moses and Elijah and Peter, James, and John. So, but they recognized them. Mm -hmm. They knew that they, uh, of exactly. course, knew uh, Jesus. They were there with right. Jesus. But they knew who uh, Moses was and they knew who Elijah was. And uh, so don't think that what you do is little. Right. Unnoticed. Or unnoticed. That's, that's right. That's, that's good, Ron. Yeah. Did you, in, uh, I can't remember, did you introduce this group? Yes. But I'm going to do it one more time anyway. Okay. okay? So um, if you really have enjoyed them tonight, you want to reach out to them maybe. His name is Josh Slose and it's 606 495 5260 out of uh, good old Sandy Hook up the road from where from, from the Laurel Gorge Enterprise Baptist Church. We're so glad to hear you tonight. And we're going to continue for four for him right now and hear the message they have. God is so good tonight. We're excited that you're here. We're excited that they're here. I was standing by the banks of the river Looking out over life's troubled sea When I saw an old ship that was sailing is that the old ship of Zion I see? It's hopeless been and battered from the storms of life I could see. The waves were rough. But the old ship was steady. Is that the old ship of Zion I see? At the stern of the ship stood the captain. I could hear as he called out, my name get on board it's the old ship of zion it may never pass this way again as i step on board i'll be leaving all my troubles and my heartaches behind For I'll be safe with Jesus the captain Sailing out on the old ship of Zion 
Amen. I'll send that song out to my Papa Bill. Um, and I listen, we're here to sing, and that's what we intend to do. Philip's going to sing a song, Glory Road, for you here in just a minute. But I'd be very remiss if I didn't um, mention this. Uh, I grew up watching this program at my grandparents' house quite frequently. And uh, my grandmother's went on to be with the Lord now. She uh, left last year. But my granddad, for the majority of my life, was not a Christian and uh, 90 years old. And thank God I can't say that anymore. <laughs> thank the Lord this last year. He made things right. And I know he's watching now. And I'm thankful that now he gets to watch this and he gets to feel something. <laughs> Maybe he didn't feel before. I know when I'm around him, I get to feel something I hadn't felt from the man before. I've got peace in me. <laughs> you know that. I'm, I'm thankful that we've got a God that's willing to save. And he's long-suffering to us. We're not willing that any would perish, but that all would come to repentance. If you're out there this evening and you don't know the Lord, listen. <laughs> he wants to save you. He loves you. He's already went as far as he can go, made it as easy as what he can. But thankful for the Lord and, and thankful for answered prayers and love my granddad. Anyway, go ahead. mentioned uh, that song, Wayfaring Stranger. Uh, my dad taught me that song 
I was six years old. And I remember it so well. Because I used to climb up in the tree and sing. And a neighbor would come by and he told Daddy, he said, you got at least one Baptist in the family. So <laughs> that's, that's that? the name of that story. Thank you all for putting up with us this evening. We're thankful to be able to be here and to get to use what talent the Lord's gave us. I want to say hi to our good buddy Joe, too. Joe, if you ain't got your PJs on, dig into them deep pockets, see if you can grab some of that extra cash and throw it toward this program. It's a worthwhile cause. You'll be asking us for that later this year. So Anyway, God bless you all.
Well, praise the Lord. That was four for him out of Sandy Hook, Kentucky. And earlier we had Kay Himes and her friends, and they were from Berea, Kentucky. The Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. If we had a desire tonight, it would be that you would give your heart to Jesus Christ. That that would be something that's more than anything, a goal you would want to achieve. The Bible says if you believe in your heart the Lord God and you, you confess that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. For the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So, you know, salvation is the greatest gift, the best thing we could ever have. And we've been happy to be here tonight to, oh, talk about all these people that's given money. <laughs> so Norman and Terry from Breath of Pledges, $100 in memory of their son, Anthony Terry, who was killed in a car crash in June on the county line. We want to remember that family in our prayers right now. And Garrett Justice from Campbell pledges $500. And they're very proud of Josh. Wherever he's at, somebody's <laughs> proud of him. Oh, listen, Coach Trent from Clearfield, Kentucky, pledges $100. He Coach says Ted. It, Coach Ted in honor of Robin and Joe. But then he said he pledges $10, excuse me, $100 more in honor of Joe. <laughs> so he must like me more because he pledged more in my name. But that's going to be good also. We... um. Joe just had a lot of good time tonight. A lot of people gave. A lot of people, I pray, enjoyed this, this, um, this moment we had together. Amen. And uh, I'll say it again. These two groups right. were just anointed. and Absolutely. They sounded wonderful. And we praise the Lord for that, that uh, it's a ministry. And, yeah. and they're singing for the Lord. And, uh, oh, have got a long way home. Exactly. And uh, they're, they're doing what the, uh, they're they are called to do, you know, Absolutely. To, to encourage and uplift and, and uh, to maybe lead somebody to the Lord. That's, mm -hmm. that's the most important thing. That's true. Hey, I got a new total here, $30,425. Praise the Lord. We're, Hallelujah. We're so thankful for thankful. everything. And yes, uh, the Hour of Harvest uh, Fall Telethon, uh, they've been doing it, uh, what, each year now. They used to do yeah. it a couple of times, but they're doing it each year. And gives everybody an opportunity that towards the fall they will know that that this is coming up and uh, again I'd encourage you I know I've said it but I, I would encourage you to, to pray about maybe giving monthly yeah uh, and uh, that way you can support them all year long you don't have to wait till just now or till till the fall until October to to right. give and to do that so uh, I pray about that uh, Robin tell us what uh, may be going on at uh, House of Prayer Sounds great to me. Uh, we're from the House of Prayer Church in Moorhead, Kentucky. If you go on Facebook and, and hop on our a page, it's called House of Prayer Incorporated. But Michael Combs is coming in the month of November. We also have Michael Upright going to be there. The singing cooks are always there right around Thanksgiving. We have Jonathan Buckner and Chosen Road. They're coming for a wonderful Christmas event, December the 20th. They're good. Bluegrass Gospel. They're wonderful. They've got a lot of Christmas music out. So we do have a lot of things going also so if like I said get on Facebook go to House of Prayer and everything's listed and lined up so you can know and we'll be here next Saturday which is November the 2nd we'll be here singing also the House of Prayer so we'll still be around again won't we amen I got uh, another pledge to read off uh, Lyndon Smith from Breath that pledges $100 in memory of wife Helen amen Sounds well it's time for us to pray and we're going to pray over these uh, pledges yes. and we're going to pray over these totals and we're going to ask the Lord just to multiply it and then we're going to Absolutely. ask it to be sanctified and uh, if uh, if you're still watching and tuning in here yeah. just pray with us as we pray over these pledges and any needs that would be out there father True. we come before you tonight to honor you and praise you thanking you Lord for all you do for us and thank you for another uh, year that uh, we've come to do the hour of harvest telethon and Father, you know exactly what's needed and the amount that it's going to take. And Father, thank you for the ones that have pledged and, and given. And you, you've stirred their hearts, Lord. And just bless them in, a, in a, a way, Lord, that they'll know it's directly from you. Father, the ones that, that uh, may be thinking and what to do, Lord, just uh, give them a clear uh, knowledge and, and clear understanding on what they should do also, Lord. Father, we pray over WLJC, uh, the staff, uh, everyone, Lord, that is connected uh, throughout this week and throughout the 
a telethon. We just yes, pray yes. blessings over them. We pray that everything that is given will be, be multiplied and be sanctified for the building up of your kingdom, Father. For it's for you that we do all these things. And we pray this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We just thank you so much for for all the things that the Lord, you do for us. And, and we just got so much to be thankful for. That's so right. much to be grateful for. Sometimes we th- we're we quick to thank him about the big things and, right. and, the, and the major things in our life. But sometimes we may uh, forget about those little things. That's and I, I, I'm just... Myself, I want to be thankful in all things. So we just, uh, we thank you for tuning in, yes, for amen. being a part of this service tonight, right. being part of these, uh, the, the groups that's been singing, mm-hmm. uh, everyone that's that's pledged, uh, everyone oh, that's watched, anyway. you know, uh, 42 years. Yeah. Isn't, isn't that We're amazing? Awesome. Yeah. That's amazing that the Lord has blessed that much uh, here. Well, it's getting close to our time to uh, to go off tonight. I think tomorrow night they'll be right back. This is yep. night four. This yep. is Thursday night, night four. Right. And uh, we'll be back on tomorrow night at seven o'clock and it'll be another two hour program. And just before we go, I want to bless you, speak a blessing over you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May be gracious unto you. May lift up his countenance upon you. And may give you peace in the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Good night, everybody. Thank you for being part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. We also accept Venmo and PayPal. Just scan the QR codes to donate. May God bless you.